Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse, Supergirl, and Earth Prime. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, Supergirl has been off since November. That's when Supergirl officially ended, and since then, we've only seen Alex Danvers return to the Arrowverse. So she was the only live action one, however in the comics we've seen various characters pop up throughout Earth Prime. The new comic book crossover series that they've been running hasn't actually gained as much attention as I thought it would. I haven't seen many people talk about it online, but this caught my attention and this is for the final issue of the Arrowverse crossover that is technically canon. And this is for the final issue, issue 6 of Earth Prime. And that is because a certain character returns in the preview pages because this issue is coming to comic book stores and online Tuesday, June 21st. Currently when I'm recording this video, it's June 19th, so that's in two days time. I can't wait to go pick it up if I can get my hands on it. And I'm sure you guys are excited. But yeah, in the comic form, Dreamer has returned. However, not in comics that are canon to the Arrowverse, so this does mark a big occasion, I would say. And yeah, let's just jump into this. So we're reading an article from bleedingcord.com. They have some photos for us of the pages that preview this issue. The first photo we have is of the big bad, Magog. He is here sitting on his throne. I am going to be honest with you guys, I haven't fully caught up with Earth Prime. I've read the first few issues. I haven't read the Stargirl issue and so I'm a tiny bit behind on what exactly is going on but we're just gonna like flick through these pages talk about some of the characters that are popping up and what it could mean basically for the future of the Arrowverse so the first preview page that we have is of Bart and Nora and they're sitting in their apartment it seems and so they're just having you know conversation and they're talking about you know what happened to study hours Bart you said you would do your homework and you had a ton of it and basically he can't concentrate blah 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 he's watching the news and then there is like a kind of news break and blood work is back and obviously this version of blood work definitely looks different and this is potentially because they are in the future so this is like a different version of blood work and so in the next page you get to see the two of them suit up and they're about to go out but you can see the return of john jones fighting blood work so there you go martian manhunter is back that is another supergirl crossover there i did briefly talk about this because they did release some of these pages before and you see like the villain in the next page but also you know the big thing is the crossover because after all this is a crossover comic and magog does show up out of nowhere trying to take down obviously Bart and Nora who are getting in the way of him and his plans and I really have to say I really appreciate how good this comic looks like I think it's impeccably drawn and I mean I haven't like read the full issue so I can't say like how good is it written but I think the story of Earth Prime has been pretty cool so far and this is like the final crossover issue and so Magog gets into a fight with Bart, Bart gets punched in the face and then Nora gets zapped and they're like oh these are a bunch of amateurs and that's basically who they're facing off against because obviously Bart and Nora are not that professional considering how good their dad is and like some of the different members in the Arrowverse and so they're definitely going to need some help and as Bart says Magog is an off the charts big bad he is not your normal big bad and so calling in some help although they don't call in help she just shows up out of nowhere in this preview page we get to see the return of none other than Supergirl. So Supergirl is back in the Arrowverse and yes it is canon so this is super exciting for us Supergirl fans and so basically how the panel goes we're gonna just read through the page because why not. So someone shouts Supergirl yes and then they go oh boy Magog you're in for some trouble now as Supergirl punches Magog and like totally knocks his staff out of his hand and he's completely knocked out of balance. And then Supergirl replies to Bart and Nora, thanks for keeping these innocent people safe, I'll take it from here. They are like, should we help? I mean, I almost got in some punches, but then nearly died. So, you know, they're being kind of funny and everything. And that's just, you know, the way that they are. 
But then Nora goes on to say, this is a Supergirl level fight. Besides, she's not going to bend the rules for us. She does seem to have an answer for his blast. See, it's not so bad letting Supergirl take care of Magog, but you know, what could we do? And so Supergirl is up there blocking his blast. He's got his hands on the staff again, and Supergirl is using our heat vision. Looks pretty cool as the two kind of interact. Kind of reminds me of like the end of Harry Potter where you have Voldemort and Harry fighting with their ones. I don't know, it's just pretty cool always with Supergirl's heat vision colliding with another energy form. And if you look at Supergirl's suit, you can tell that this is, you know, somewhat similar to the TV show and it resembles Melissa. The costume is pretty much the same and, you know, the way that it's designed is similar, although this is obviously drawn, so she does look a little bit different. But nevertheless, this is Supergirl, you know, with her cape, but also her new suit. She doesn't have the skirt. She's got the pants on, the blue pants and the red boots and also the House of Elf symbol as she always does. And as Nora says, no, let's run to Star Labs and find out some intel on who this Magog guy is. So Magog has been, you know, orchestrating everything kind of behind the scenes and he's the real big bad here. And they're just figuring out who he is. And so they're like, oh, let's get some info while Supergirl takes him down. So Supergirl is here lifting up Magog with her bare hands. And she says, I like the sound of that plan XS as they try and find out more and so she's like supergirl likes my plan how shui is that well if it's supergirl approved then i'm down says bart and they go off to star labs and they zip back and they're there with chester and chester gives them some details about who magog is and everything else surrounding that and then they zip back off and they team up and presumably we see Supergirl again. So I'm very excited to see this. I love that last panel where you get to see Supergirl holding Magog up in the air and the fact that they refer to Magog as a Supergirl type villain, you know, someone that she could take down and that they're not strong enough for. So yeah, they're really bigging up Supergirl in this instance as she is supposed to be one of the most powerful heroes in the Arrowverse, even stronger than Superman, although that is sometimes controversial to people who love Superman because they just can't get over the fact that Supergirl can be that powerful and even more powerful than Superman. And so yeah, it's just really cool to see her back. Even if it's in comic form, I'll take what I can get and I'm sure most of you guys are very excited every time we see anything like this. Like I mentioned before, Dreamer is going to be having some new comic book appearances. Nicole Maines has been writing a new mini-series that is going to come out. Also, she was part of DC Pride briefly, as well as last year. So, the legacy of Supergirl continues in the comic books, in this issue of Earth Prime, the final issue, as well as some other comic books that are currently being worked on by Nicole and various other people. And also, whilst we're talking about Supergirl and the Arrowverse, it must be mentioned that although we have no word of any like future spin-offs coming for Supergirl, we do have word from Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, that he wants to bring a Supergirl character into The Flash Season 9. That character would somehow connect to the story that they're developing, but most likely be part of some sort of mini crossover that Eric Wallace is planning for the start of next season. According to the Flash podcast, and I'll leave a link in the description below, when they interviewed Eric Wallace, and they did it a couple of times, they were able to kind of get an answer out of him, and he said that he met this Supergirl alum, and this Supergirl character, and also cast member, has never shown up on the Flash before. That doesn't mean they haven't interacted together, but that means they haven't shown up in a Flash-specific episode. So, that person had a meeting with Eric Wallace, and potentially we're going to be seeing that crossover at some point next season. I'm super excited. I don't know who exactly it's going to be. I presume it's going to be Dreamer. That would be the most logical step considering how big Dreamer is in DC right now, even beyond Supergirl. And bringing her back in live action would just be huge. Everyone would get so excited, including myself. But for now, that's about it. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really does help out the channel. I would appreciate it to try and, you know, boost this video in YouTube's algorithm. God knows how it exactly works. But also, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen 
to watch my latest video. And if you've missed any other videos, just go back to the channel, scroll through, watch them bit by bit. I reviewed The Flash this week. I have a couple of other videos. And also we're going to be live streaming this coming Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to clarify that. Follow me at the DCTV show on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with live streams and scheduling announcements as well as my community tab on YouTube. That's normally where I announce stuff either on both of them or on just one of them. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.